Okay, so this is it. This is the final part of the NDFX and I-590 rant. Hopefully you guys, instead of disliking based on the fact that it's rumors, you can actually dislike based on these benchmarks. Now, take out tomorrow. That guy's awesome sub to him. Here it is. For, well, first we look at the specs. As you can see, completely the same except for this one. This one has a higher clock speed, higher t TDP. But look at, let's look at some tests. Now, the FX9590 scored 8.61 Sinbench. I'm not going to compare it to Intel and Sinbench because all the ND fans are t saying, like, oh, it's Intel funded Sinbench and told him to cripple ND. So, so I guess I'm not, I'm not going to compare it to Intel then, just to be fair, you guys. But I'm just going to quickly open another window. Sin bench. And I'll tell you what the score is for that. We'll see how much of a whopping improvement this is. The FX A350 at stock speeds, it got 6.91 sin bench. And now, the, let's see how much the score improved. 8.61. Wait, oops, sorry. My minus. 6.91 that score all you saw for the extra clock speed and an extra 95 watts in power consumption and at four times the price tag was 1.7 yeah that's all you got for the that's all you got for spending what is it like 700 more dollars more Hmm. Here's some more benchmarks. Let's take a look at them. CPU score 27k. We'll uh, quickly look up. Let's see what I got. Yeah. 3D Mark Vantage for the FX A350. 22k versus 27k. Okay, that's a bigger improvement, but this. Isn't exactly the latest benchmark, so the scores go completely crazy. So that's like around a 5k improvement for what? Four times the price again? Now let's look down here. The FX9590, it beats the i7980X from 2010, but how is it? Let's see how it's. How it compares to the FX A350? FHD. Hmm. What did it? What did the FX A350 get? 23.4 so we gain a whopping 5 FPS improvement for again say with me now 4 times the price and far more heat output and everything now here we go here fire strike the physics score is 95,000 fix A350 3D mark fire strike Now what did the physics score get? The physics score on the A350 was 88,000, which means you're again like only getting a minimal like 15% performance improvement for far more heat and f and you're paying far more too. And if you pr think I'm wrong, here like I'll show you right now. I'm pulling the benchmark up. I'm just gonna pull into this window. There you see it right there. Now you can't say I'm wrong. Now, is there any more? No, there is not. So, what performance improvements have you been getting? Well, you got 5k improvement advantage, which is, hmm, that's 20%. So, this is like a 20% trend for performance improvements. 
So let's see what you're in here. Do you want to know what you're getting here? Let's see. The FX A350 is two hundred dollars. Nine five ninety seems more like an a hundred and seventy dollar CPU now. So let's see. A hundred seven. Let's redo this whole thing. Here it's seventy divided by two hundred. You're paying four point three to five times the price, which is four and thirty five percent more. Now let's see what the performance improvement you're getting on average is. We'll say twenty percent. Now let's see how am I supposed to put this do this out. So basically the value you're getting from according to these from ac according to these benchmarks, which are benchmarks of an unreleased CPU could go to twenty five percent, but still with this improvement, if AMD was pricing it like they did the A three fifty, you're getting around two hundred and fifty dollars in value. And with that comes a two hundred and twenty with that extra fifty dollars in value comes a two hundred twenty watt TDP and a higher voltage and clock speed to deal with ma making it so you pretty much hit a wall already. A five gigahertz A three fifty gets to around one point five to one point four volts. This is a four point seven gigahertz space and it's one point five five volts. So it didn't even translate the overclock well. Which means AMD couldn't overclock their own CPU as well as some random guy could. So, from these benchmarks, it seems like a it seems like a little bad for your money, don't you agree with me? Now you guys may want to defend it, but Really, overclocking A350 to 5 gigahertz. See what you get in Synbench, and post that in the comments. We'll see how much of an improvement you're getting then. In fact, run. In fact, you know you should also run. You should run FreeMark Vantage, the X264 FHD benchmark. Run FreeMark Firestrike and look at the physics score. Tell me what these. Tell me what these scores were on top of the Synbench score. And with the A350 overclocked to 5 gigahertz, tell me what you've been getting. And look at this. It's pretty much... Pretty, you could even get be better overclocks with an A350, plus giving you better performance than compared to the 9590. With the money you're saving, sending her doors, you could pick up, say, an H100, a bunch of performance, an H110. Or eleven ten eleven zero whatever I don't care, but you could pick up that some a f one twenty quiet editions a really nice case you could pick a better graphics card with that tiny twenty percent performance improvement you're giving up, which doesn't even really matter in game this is like rendering style tests tests in areas where c p u actually matters so rarely. Not exactly a big deal for gaming. Now, if I don't know what to say. I thought this, I thought this was going to be a disappointment in just flying clock speed, and not actual architectural improvements, which is what got into ahead in the performance race when they made the Core Two Duo. And you know what? That was correct. Now you guys are looking at some cold, hard benchmarks. Now, don't don't say it's Intel bias. You can't say this is Intel bias because since I only compared to AMD CPUs, I didn't try to compare it to an Intel CPU because you said they were biased up. And even then, Intel will try to make their i7-960 look better than the 9590. Do I agree with me? Wouldn't they try to make it look like that? So you're not... It being 2010 text, so I'm not even sure if it actually is by Spantel. So, running short on the video here. In the end, you're only paying for you're paying four times the price for a 20% improvement, which will be actually tra which will actually be one FPS in gaming. You're getting one frame, one extra frame. Goodbye, guys. This is over.